So you want to know how to break ankles? Today we're going to get into the nitty gritty of footwork and how that's the biggest key to breaking ankles in basketball. Hey guys, Coach Jesse Minch here. Thanks for checking out this video. If you haven't yet, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know what else you guys want to see from the channel. One of the things I've been getting requested a lot from people is that they want to see how to break ankles and they want more tips on footwork. So I figured let's bring both of those together in this video. Again, if you guys have anything else you want to see though, leave me a comment down below. That's where I'm getting a lot of ideas for these videos for. Okay, so there's a lot to talk about when we're talking about footwork and breaking ankles and basketball and just footwork with your handles in general. This isn't just about breaking ankles. This is about having solid footwork for your ball handling ability being able to create space, get past your defender, all that stuff. So I'm gonna have to do two videos for this basically. Uh, so the, this is gonna be part one. We're gonna just talk about some of the main keys you wanna pay attention to with your footwork and, and how, how you're executing your footwork. And then part two, we're gonna get into some more details, some more of the nitty gritty as far, as far as techniques, what types of footwork movements you can use. So make sure you stay tuned for part two. Again, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button to make sure you catch that. That's gonna be coming in about a week from today. So let's get into the details of footwork and, and some of the main keys. So the first key we wanna talk about about with your footwork is staying low to the ground okay and you want to keep this in mind because in basketball milliseconds matter right you, you that split second of, of you know being able to move or stop or change direction or get going when you need to is gonna matter in a, in a game of basketball as far as being able to have that angle to beat your defender or get into that lane that you see in the to get to the hoop right so Getting your feet and keeping them close to the ground and being able to get them back onto the ground quickly is important. And, and so the difference between having your foot here on your footwork versus here, right next to the ground, that's a big difference, right? So you want to make sure that anytime you're you know, doing your footwork that you're trying to keep your feet close to the ground so you can move quick, right? React quick. That's going to allow you to make those quick split second decisions, step out, right? change direction, stop, go, all that stuff. If you watch the best ball handlers like Kyrie, Stephen Curry, Chris Paul, they're masters of this. Now there's gonna be times where you're gonna wanna kinda quote unquote break this you know, so-called so rule, but for the most part, whenever you can, try to keep your feet low to the ground. That's gonna allow you to move more quickly and again, make more you know, changes of direction, make quick decisions, all that. All right, number two. We gotta talk about staying on balance, right? Your footwork's no good if you're not on balance because the problem with if you're not on balance is everything gets thrown out of whack. Anything you're trying to do. Number one, trying to change direction if you're off balance isn't gonna work for you. Trying to stop quickly if you're off balance, you could fall over, right? Trying to go if you're not on balance isn't gonna work. Trying to take a shot if you're off balance is gonna, isn't gonna be as effective. Whether we're talking a jump shot, layup, doesn't really matter. Uh, your dribble moves aren't gonna be as effective because if you're off balance, it's hard to control the basketball, right? So you have to stay on balance. Uh, one of the main things to focus on to kind of help with this is to make sure you're not overextending your torso past one of you, you know, basically I like to think of if my chest is like a focal point, I don't want to get that chest past my where my knee is. That's where a lot of players tend to get off balance is when they're trying to overextend on that. Um, or if say you, you know you're trying to really sell a fake and you take a step further than what you're comfortable right so if you try to really extend on a fake and it's so far that you can't produce force to come back this way that's not a good movement for you to make now that's something you could definitely develop through you know developing your strength and your flexibility and your balance but you want to make sure at the end of the day that when you're executing your moves in the game that you're staying on balance and a couple things again to pay attention to is making sure your chest doesn't go past one of your knees and then on top of that not overextending your legs so trying to you know stay you know maybe shoulder width apart maybe up to you know one and a half times shoulder width apart and if you have a good range of motion and, and really good balance and strength you could maybe even go up to twice shoulder width apart anything past that though you're really trying to overextend and it's going to be really tough for you to you know stay on balance make quick changes of direction stop go all that stuff unless you've really developed that that extended range of motion all right the next thing we want to talk about is where you want to focus on putting the weight of your feet and 90% of the time I would recommend trying to put most of the, the weight of your feet onto the ball of your foot which is basically right here okay not all the way on your toes more more right on that ball of your foot because that's gonna allow you to stay more on balance and move quickly um, generally speaking you can uh, you know you could keep your heels on the ground 
but I would say to try to keep your weight shifted a little bit more towards the ball of your foot. Uh, that's going to allow you to move more quickly and again make changes of direction more quickly, start, go, stop, all that stuff more quickly. And on top of that, again, it's going to help you stay on balance. So pretty simple tip right there, 90% uh, of the time you want to try to stay on the balls of your feet, at least as far as your weight distribution. Again, your heels can be touching the ground, but try to keep your weight a little more towards the front, or you could even keep your heels off the ground. And then past that, you know, there, again, there's going to be like that 10% of the time where, you know, certain movements or whatever the case may be where you maybe you want to put your heel onto the ground. But for the most part, when you're trying to be quick and shifty with your footwork, you want to try to keep most of your weight on the balls of your feet. Okay, so we talked a little bit ago about how, you know, 90% of the time you want to try to keep your steps, you know, within a certain range of motion. Well, the one time you might want to kind of break out of that, and I would actually kind of recommend it, is when you're trying to get past your defender. Uh, a long, low first step is huge for beating defenders so what I mean by that is when you're gonna take a step you want to try to really step long and low okay now that's not every single time but I would say about nine again 90% of the time that's the kind of step I would try to take to beat my defender because what that's gonna do is gonna get my shoulder low so again if if I'm stepping and and let's talk a little bit too about details here if I'm gonna drive to the right side I want to step with this left foot because that's gonna give me protection over the, the basketball from my defender but again Again, by taking that long low step and getting my shoulders low, now if my defender is trying to get in towards the basketball here, I have my shoulder to help protect the basketball and I'm on good balance for him to, you know, if he tries to knock me around, if I get my shoulders low and take a long low step, my whole body is being directed in this direction. So it's, you know, even though I was talking about before how you normally wouldn't want to take a long low step because you're off balance, well if you know you're going to go in a certain direction and want to continue in that direction, that's the exception to the rule. So when you know you have that uh, you know, ability to get past your defender with a long low first step, go ahead and take that real long low step. Uh, and then the other situation where you might want to kind of incorporate that is when you're really trying to get your defender to go flying, okay? And the reason for that is, again, if you're gonna try to beat your defender, you're gonna take a long, low first step, right? So if you want them to go flying, well, you want them to think that you're gonna drive to the basket hard. So by taking that same kind of a step, they're gonna be that much more likely to go flying. So coming here and you know doing a between the legs like that, right? That could be a good way to get your defender to go flying. Finally, let's talk variety. You gotta you know, mix your footwork up. You can't always do the same exact thing, otherwise it's gonna start to make you predictable. Uh, but if you're incorporating all these keys, again, you know, like all these things I said, like 90% of the time you wanna do this or you wanna do this, you gotta get that 10% of the other thing in there here and there though to kinda keep your defender guessing. But more, more than that, this comes back to switching up the types of things you're doing with your footwork and, and a little bit with your body positioning too, which kind of ties in with your footwork, which we're gonna get into in part two of this video. So you gotta have that variety in there with your footwork and again part two of the video of this video that's coming is gonna really go into detail of this as far as you know different types of things you can do with your footwork different you know foot patterns and stuff like that that you can do and specific techniques so make sure you stay tuned for that video hit the subscribe button to make sure you catch that video and it's gonna help you quite a bit with this part of the you know how to break ankles and your footwork with your ball handling and just your footwork in general. So look, if you found this video helpful and you wanna take your handles to a whole new level and break even more ankles, make sure you click this link in the top right hand corner of the screen. That's a 100% full free workout. Otherwise, if you're on a mobile device, just click the top link in the description down below. You just pop in your email and I'll send that to you instantly for free. Also, if you found this video helpful, just make sure you hit that like button for me, hit that subscribe button and get on that notification squad if you haven't yet so you can catch the newest tips, tutorials and drills just like this. And again, leave a comment down below let me know what else you want to see from the channel. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more and break some ankles today.